we're, we're doing these studies in hope of a few outcomes. The first is information to help us guide where we invest in the future. So for example, if we know that particular communities on the coast have been impacted worse than others, we'll know to direct our, our information, uh, our efforts towards them going forward. Uh, the second is to give data uh, and talking points and information to our elected officials and the media. Uh, it's our purpose not to put a spin on events, but to educate people as to the reality of what has happened, uh, both now as well as what could prospectively happen in the future. So it's that information sharing as well. And the third is that we all is we, that we think there's pro probably opportunity uh, in this event. Um, for example, the funds that are coming in uh, to help. Uh, help us with coastal restoration, also come within the possibility for great job creation in the future for creating industries and technologies that both create jobs and save our coast. And so it's forming the basis for those type of strategies that are not only about recovery, but I would also argue about reinvention. One, one of the lessons that we learned coming out of Katrina was the importance of measuring empirically impacts. Um, after Katrina, we really didn't do uh, a lot of good measurements and as a result when we went for example to DC to look for assistance we presented a laundry list of needs but there was no evidence backing it up and so our thought was this time as we weren't as we thought about recovery as we thought about where we needed to invest in order to help our commun our communities on the coast not only recover but prosper we knew that measuring impacts was going to be a really important basis of how we went forward so uh, we learned those lessons from Katrina really I think that the moment was when uh, we realized that this was not going to be a five-week event, but was going to be a five-month event. Uh, and so once we knew that this was going to be a, an acute event in the midterm, and an event that was going to probably extend for many years, learning from the experience in Alaska, that was a moment that we knew that if we didn't have baseline measurements, we weren't going to have a good basis for making our arguments uh, for uh, financial support for strategy for going forward. So I think it was at that moment when BP was unable to cap the well quickly that we knew that we had to start getting out there with our yardsticks. There's no question that this disaster gives us an opportunity to address issues that weren't addressed after Katrina. Probably the most stark example of that is that up to $150 billion have come in post-Katrina um, exactly zero billion of those dollars, in fact zero dollars, have gone towards coastal restoration. So the irony is that this oil spill, this disaster, might actually end up being the catalytic event that allows us to begin to address the issue of coastal restoration as well as the sustainability of our coastal communities. And so our challenge as economic developers is to uh, take this ecological disaster and turn it long term uh, into, uh, into an opportunity to actually create a more sustainable economy, a more sustainable ecology. And uh, so far it looks like we're going in that direction.